Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're gonna to look at Sabacc playing cards. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and this is my platform where I talk about all things Star Wars. I love Star Wars, I love the franchise. You'll never hear me hate on anything, whether it be directors or scripts or Disney, I'm not about that. I'm about Star Wars and loving the franchise. And I've been with Star Wars since the very beginning. I got vintage toys, I got the vintage books, I'm gonna talk about new stuff, costuming, everything, you name it. Today, we're taking another look at Sabacc. You know, we were introduced to Sabacc uh, really in the Solo movie, right? But we had kind of known about it from earlier and uh, kind of knew that that's how Han gained the Millennium Falcon, right, through a game of Sabacc. And uh, we'd seen the dice hanging from the Millennium Falcon uh, rearview mirror, <laughs> right, a tribute to uh, Harrison Ford's character that he played in American Graffiti. And I've done a couple other reviews for some Sabacc style games, most notably the Han Solo card game. Now this doesn't say that it's Sabacc, but it is a very simple version of Sabacc. And if you wanted to start off with anything, you wanted to get kind of some of the basics. Uh, this is fun because not only does it include Sabacc cards, but it also includes chips. And so uh, we, my son and I, we like the, the gambling aspect of putting chips out in the center. Kind of feels more like uh, what we see in the solo films. And there are the full scale, large Sabacc cards that I picked up at Galaxy's Edge. And so if you are just serious about Sabacc and you just wanna play the card game that has the dice, you wanna get a nice tuck case that you can take with you anywhere, uh, this is the actual game, actual cards. This is gonna look and feel like authentic Star Wars. So what are Sabacc shaped cards? Well, they're playing cards. They're standard playing cards that you can use to play any standard playing card game with. You wanna see what they look like? Let's look at them. And just to repeat, these are Sabacc shaped playing cards, meaning these are normal everyday playing cards that you are already familiar with. Ace through King, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. The only difference is they have the Sabacc shape and the Sabacc back design says the word Star Wars right there, comes in this pre-folded cardboard box, got a little bit of information about them, including the size there on the back, and then opening it, there's no tuck case, all the cards are loose inside this pre-molded center, which means you probably don't wanna throw the box away, right? Probably wanna keep it. So the back design is the Sabacc shape, and you can see how it centers in my hand, just about how big it is. Probably about the same size as a deck of cards, right? Brown border, one-way back design, as it says Star Wars, which means if you shuffle them end to end, you'll have cards that are right side up and upside down. The stock is thin, okay? These are probably not as thick as a regular playing card, but still pretty strong, about the same thickness as a gaming card that you would get from a board game. Going through the faces, you're also gonna see that they have a Sabacc look to them, right? That's your ace of spades, and then your king. Got the symbols there in the center. Here's your queen and your jack, and they're gonna go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, ace of hearts. And again, the same symbols on king, queen, and jack going through the hearts respectively. So you even have pips and indices up there in the corner. Here's your clubs. You're also gonna notice that the black suits are this dark green, which again is the same as a typical Sabacc deck. And then your red suits, of course, are red. So it's just a straightforward deck made to look like a Star Wars deck. And then it's gonna end with two jokers, one red, one green. Now, here's the weird thing, and that's something I take a little bit of issue with. I don't know why there is a mythosaur skull on the jokers. This is a symbol that we first associated with Boba Fett, right? Who is from the planet Mandalore. I, I don't understand why this symbol 
would be on Sabacc cards that we typically associate with Han Solo and Corellia. So those uh, Joker symbols seemed a little out of place. All right, so that's everything I wanted to say about the Sabacc shaped playing cards. Of course, if you'd like to purchase these for yourself, you can find them at Amazon. And if you have any questions about this or any of the other products you saw in today's video, feel free to ask down below and I will do my best to answer and get back to you. May the force be with you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.